Bullet Club. Over or over it? How do you feel, Sids? What What's your opinion on the club that will never die? Ten years, tons of members, including Jeff Jarrett, sells, sells tons of merch. Go ahead, sir. I hate it so much, dude. I hate Bullet Club now. Like, don't get me wrong. Bullet Club was cool at times. It has had some sweet inter iterations. The best iteration, in my opinion, of uh, probably being the Elite, just because I love Kenny Omega so much. But they've had so many good iterations. I feel like the Elite should have been the last one. I, I, I just feel like that should have been the end of the Bullet Club. And instead, we have... The Bullet Club going into another iteration now after Jay White has left. Like, how ridiculous is it? And and they're bringing Bullet Club to AEW. Why? Why? <laughs> Just let it die. That's also an impact, sir. Don't forget. Oh there, God. There, there is it. Here, here's the thing. Um, I love the original Bullet Club. It's probably my favorite. It made the most sense. It was groundbreaking. And then Finn Balor and the crew had to leave. Um, AJ Styles version wasn't too bad. Um, Kenny Omega's wasn't too bad, but even then it was like, oh, but you're like him. You're like him. You're like him. So mm -hmm. Finn Balor, it's like, I always make the joke. It's a carbon copy of a carbon copy of a carbon copy. They got lucky with a few copies. Like AJ Styles eventually yeah. got over in Japan, which a lot of people don't realize he had a rough start in the beginning. There was a lot of fans that like, you're not Finn Balor. Why are you fucking here? You're not Finn Balor. And then he mm -hmm. won them over. Uh, Kenny did a great job, but then it was like, well, you're not, you know, um, and then Jay White, you know, it's, it's tough. Cause like Jay White, he was beloved by English speakers, but mm -hmm. then grew into what they said he was. Um, and Jay White really improved and it's just a carbon copy of a carbon copy. I, I know this is gonna sound crazy. I like this version of bullet club. Um, the one that's in Japan right now, but I feel like it's not as special for one reason, uh, sir. They didn't go on break. If they, if they went on a little bit of break, you know, like towards the end of, I don't even say the end of Jay White's career, but if they just took a little bit of a break and they came back, but the problem is they sell too many shirts. They sell too many shirts. That's yeah. the problem. Um, I don't think this is the worst version of Bullet Club. I think it gives us hope. I'm kind of excited about it. But it's been here for 10 years. And it's a carbon copy of a carbon copy of a carbon copy. And not that, but Ghetto being a part of it. If you're old school That's in New Japan, it's like, what? <laughs> it would be like, for, for American fans, I apologize. If, it would It'd be, be like, like if Vince McMahon was in DX. Yeah. Back in its peak. Well, not even at its peak. If the time DX came back when it was older, HBK and Sean, if Vince had been part of it then, that's what it would be like. Or if Vince stayed in NWO for four years. Yeah. <laughs> like, if that was a four-year process. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere soon. And even, like, I feel bad for Kevin Kelly because he has to explain the story. And he sounds like an idiot. You know, he just sounds like a moron. Um, but this, this part excites me. Um, but I say this stat, I'm going to keep saying this stat till someone proves me wrong. Raccoon, I can't prove this. This is an internet stat. I'm pulling from my heart. Oh boy. 95% of people who buy bullet club merch do not watch five events a year. I'd say that's probably a pretty fair assessment. Cause I, I have trouble believing that all the people I've seen wearing bullet club shirts are actual fans of J Japanese wrestling. Yeah. So, I, you know, you remember, you remember when uh, watching WWE or playing Madden? Well, still Madden's going on, but you remember before Triple H kind of put a spark back in WWE. It was painful till you quit, and they're like playing Madden, like you're like, oh, am I gonna buy it? Am I not gonna buy it? I'm probably not gonna buy it. It's kind of shit. You know that like rain where it's kind of over, but you're still watching. You know, yeah. Ant Man Three. Um, <laughs> Rip. sorry, that one hurt my soul. Um, but to me, I feel like the MCU and Bullet Club and Madden are the same place. It's like, am I just doing this out of tradition, you know? And it's hard yeah. to break traditions because you remember the good times and you're like, oh, they'll make a comeback. And then, you know, it's tough. I, I feel like Monday Night Raw had this. I feel like Madden has this. I feel like the MCU has this. And I feel like Bullet Club has this.
It's like, I'm watching because I've watched for a long time. I don't know if I'm mm-hmm. watching because I enjoy it, but the one in New Japan gives me hope. The one in New Japan gives me hope. We'll see. 